welcome to Conservation for Kids. My name is Abby, I work in the Education Department here at the Springs Preserve. And today we are learning all about water quality. Now when I talk about water conservation, I'm talking about the careful use and preservation of our water supply. So we're not only worried about how much water we do use, but we're also uh, wanna be careful about how we take care of the water that we already have. Water quality can affect all living things. It can affect the plants that need that water to grow. It can affect the animals who rely on that water to survive. And it definitely affects us humans as well. Uh, we may want to make sure our water is clean and healthy and safe to drink. The Southern Nevada Water Authority is the uh, utility company that provides us water here in Southern Nevada. And they routinely do a test all day, every day to make sure that our water is safe and clean. Now, one of the tests that they do is called a pH test. Now, pH test it determines how acidic or basic a liquid is. And it's on a scale from 0 to 14. Now, water in its purest form will always be right in the middle, a neutral 7. So I'm going to show you guys a little scale right here, a pH scale. So you can see right here in the middle, we have water right there as a 7. Now, if it goes below a seven, that liquid gets more acidic. So you can see here, coffee, uh, wine, vinegar, lemon juice, things like that. Those are all more, getting more and more acidic. Now, basic or alkaline is when that number, that pH number goes above seven. So we have baking soda, soap, bleach, things like that. So, uh, seven should be always be what our water uh, pH test um, shows. And then you can go, uh, if it goes lower, it's a little bit too acidic. If it goes higher, it's a little bit more basic. So they test our water every single day for its pH level. Um, and I'm going to teach you guys how you can do a pH test at home using homemade uh, supplies. Now, what I like to use for pH testing is purple cabbage. Now purple cabbage um, has that really bright purple color which you can really see here and that purple color comes from a special pigment that reacts to a liquid's uh, pH level. So what we need to do is we need to pull that pigment out of the cabbage juice. Now if you go online and look up this experiment they're going to tell you to kind of um, uh, grind up that purple cabbage and strain it to get that really good color. What I usually do is I make kind of a cabbage tea. I just take the cabbage, cut it up so it fits in my container, and then I pour boiling water on it. So you'll probably need a grown-up to do that with you. Um, and I let it steep for maybe about an hour, um, and it, that hot water is going to pull that purple color out of it. And you get a nice stinky cabbage tea out of it. And so I've already have some pre-made here. Now once you have your tea ready, you need a clear glass or a cup of some sort. And you could just go ahead and pour it right in there. And you see you get that really pretty purple color. So I'm going to pour three because we're going to test three different liquids today. Now, I, sh I showed you guys that scale already. What I have here is a cabbage uh, color indication chart for pH testing. This is what colors the cabbage juice should turn when it reacts to different um, liquids. So you can see right here in the middle, uh, it should be a, like a dark purple, almost blue, which is what we have right here. And that's gonna be pure water. Now, as it gets more acidic, it's gonna turn more pink and red. And as it gets more basic or alkaline, it's gonna turn more blue and green. So that's gonna be our chart that we're gonna use to measure how it reacts. So I'm going to start off with water. So I have just a plain old water bottle here. I'm going to put it in the center one just to show you guys that water, when you put it in, doesn't change the color at all. It stays that same purple. That means it is neutral. Um, that means it has no acid or basic properties in it. It is pure water. Next, I'm going to do baking soda. Now, baking soda is um, very alkaline, very basic. So I'm going to dump it in here, and as you can see on the chart, it should turn a green-blue color. So I'm just going to take a spoonful, drop it right in there, and you can see it starts turning that blue color. I'll put a little more if I want, because 
So you get that nice, pretty blue color. So you see it does react. So anytime you have something that's alkaline, it's going to turn that greenish blue color. Now for my acid, I'm going to use vinegar. So this is just regular old vinegar. You can see how that is going to turn out. I'm going to put it into this one. This is the one we haven't tested yet. And as you can see, it turns a really bright pink, reddish color. So that does show that our vinegar is indeed very acidic. Now, these are just three examples, water, baking soda, vinegar. Um, you, can you can use this cabbage juice and you can test any other liquid in your house. Um, you can test soap, uh, laundry detergent, uh, maybe orange juice or milk, soda. Those are all different types of liquid you can test. And they should, depending on their acidic properties or their basic properties, turn one of these two colors. So. Thank you guys so much for listening. We always have Conservation for Kid classes at the Springs Preserve on Saturdays and Sundays at 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. So I will see you guys there. Thanks.